once again they're turning to man. And there is a move afoot on the world scene that the real answer to man's problem is found in one world government. Take note of that phrase because you're going to hear more of it as the years go by. One world government. Leaders around the world are raising the thought that if we could have one world government, then we would solve these problems that seem unsolvable. If all the nations would surrender the sovereignty of their nations and they were to have just one government in the world, then they are saying that would solve the problem. But the problem is they're looking to man for that solution again rather than looking to God. And my friends, here in this meeting, you might try many solutions arranged by man for your problems. You might manipulate with your mind and think of ways of getting over your particular problem. But the good news I have to tell you is that God can solve your problem in a split second. He is the Almighty God. And through His Son, Jesus Christ, as He came to this world, He demonstrated it didn't matter what the problems of the people were, whether they were sick, He could heal them. Whether they were filled with fear, He could comfort them. Whether they need strength, He strengthened them. Whether they needed bringing together, He was able to do that. Jesus Christ demonstrated when He was on earth that He could do anything of any problem of any man. And because Jesus Christ has never changed, and because His power is still the same, Jesus Christ is able to meet your need and overcome your problem if you'll only come to Him and say, Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please help me. I don't know where to go, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know which direction to turn. Won't you come, Lord Jesus Christ, and help me? And I'm convinced today that if you will do that, you'll be amazed. He will come to you. Why don't you come to Him? Why don't you run to His outstretched arms? Why don't you say, Lord Jesus, I've tried. I've tried myself. I've tried in my own endeavors. I've tried the best I can, but I failed. But now I come to you. And if you will do that, He will come and He will meet your need. I wonder how many folk there are today who are finding that their life is in a mess and they've tried and they've tried and they've tried. You've tried. You've tried to overcome your problems. You've been here and there and everywhere, but you've not made it. Why don't you give Jesus Christ a chance? When He was on earth, He healed all that was sick and oppressed of the devil. He never turned one away. And He's just the same today. I want to pray with you tonight. And if you'd like prayer, I'd like you, wherever you may be, just to slip up your hand. I want to pray that God will come to you through Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray for these dear people and I claim them for Thee. And I ask You in the name of Jesus that You'll keep them in Your kingdom. We bind the powers of evil and we release them to the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. It's a New Day was a presentation from the Paradise Assembly of God Church under the leadership of the Senior Minister, Pastor Andrew Evans. We cordially invite you to join us in regular weekly fellowship each Sunday at 10 a.m. for communion and worship or 6 p.m. for the Gospel Rally. The Paradise Assembly of God Church is located off Darley Road right behind the Campbelltown Oval.